Hello everybody, Big Ed here. Welcome back to another episode of Skyblock in Minecraft. Hope you guys are still enjoying the series. We are currently on episode number eight. I know, exciting times. Exciting times indeed. So in the last episode, we focused on farms being mob farms and crop farms. Between episodes, I have been very busy. Very, 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 very busy. So... If you remember, cast your minds back to last episode, on the missions we had two left, but now we've only got one. So we have bought seven more of the books, which were 35,000 XP each. So I've been grinding a lot of mobs. The last one we've got left is the iron ore. A few people in the comments uh, introduced me to a command that you can do to change the level of your ore generator. If you're unsure like I was, if you do slash is set or gen, hit enter and you can choose the level. It looks like level 15 is the max. Uh, we are currently level 12, I believe, if not 13. Because in the last episode, I was saying that um, iron ore was more common in the previous levels. But if you actually have a look here on level one, iron ore is only 3% and it's 4% on level two. So it actually goes up and we are level 12 or 13. So... We're looking at 7% iron ore, so we've got the best rate at the moment of getting iron ore. So unfortunately, it's just going to take a long time but and a lot of block broken. But at the end of the day, I don't really mind because we, are, we we're doing this for island value and for money. So it kind of goes hand in hand. So it's actually really, really good. So but I want to try and get this done sooner rather than later. So that way we can get set on the next missions because... I assume that the higher you get, the longer they're going to take. So I'll kind of want to get this done soon. But also between episodes, I have set up this ore system here, just like I had in the last season. And you can find out how to set this up in my cobblestone generator video, which is in the description down below. But I have set it up. So I've got iron, lapis, gold, coal, redstone, copper, netherite, diamonds and emeralds all going into their separate chests so everything is organized in itself which is very very handy very very handy indeed i have also expanded our farm here as well if you do this cheeky little command here which is slash chunk borders you can see every separate crop is in its own order this is done on purpose because i'm going to do this up a few levels and going to put crop hoppers in so what a crop hopper does the same as the ore hoppers anything that you mine harvest kill whatever in that chunk gets teleported to the hopper and then sorts down into chests so what i'm going to be doing is i'm probably going to do this 20 30 maybe 40 high depending on how much time i've got in the season and how much time I've got in real life as well. But um, I could probably do it 20, 30, 40 high. Put some chests underneath here. So this is going to be the bottom layer. And then I'm going to underneath here. Unfortunately, I've got loads of netherite blocks. But that's fine because we can build like a nice base under here. I'm going to have it auto sort. So that way I can go around and sell everything. In the previous episode, I mentioned using auto sell chests. That is a good method. Very good method. Especially when you level it up because it sells everything for 90% of the value that it's worth. But um, where I'm going to have so much space, I might... And I've also got this sell wand. So this sell wand, right-click any chest to instantly sell the contents. So if I get a line of like 40 chests in a row for everything, and then I go and just right-click with this sell wand, automatically sells. Unbelievable. So that's what I'm going to do. I've also got this wooden border here around outside of the chunk for the farming because if i fly up to it and as you can see if i was to fly up to this i can't land in here without breaking a crop so i've put this border around the outside so i can land on it go in harvest and then work work my way up this is only for decoration for the time being because what i'm going to do is get my herbalism to level 1000 if you are unsure at herbalism 1000 anything any crop you break automatically plants itself 
So I could break all of this and not have to worry about replanting a single potato, wheat, carrot, and this one here is going to be beetroot. So I don't have to worry about replanting any of that. So it will save time when it comes to earning money. But uh, the best way to get 1,000 herbalism is actually through glowberries. Glowberries are cheap to buy. You can buy them from the Slash shop. And uh, I'm going to probably buy an inventory full. And I'm going to set up a little platform, probably over there. And I'm just going to deck it out with glowberries, farm them, get to herbalism 1,000, just like we did in the last season. And then when we're 1,000, we can take advantage of that farm there. I'm also going to do the same as what I've got over there with nether wart it's not going to be as big it'll just be the one chunk instead of four chunks but um i don't know it might be four chunks depends how depends how excited i am when i start making it but um it's probably going to be the one chunk and then we can start selling that off as well see all i've been doing off recording is working towards mining and working towards my herbalism level and increasing the size of the farm but as you just saw there we've got our super breaker back so i'm just going to quickly run up and down here and harvest as much stuff as i can if you guys are new to op blocks or new to skyblock in the description down below i have got a cobblestone generator tutorial a fishing tutorial and a tutorial on how to get started with skyblock i at some point i will be doing an updated version for how to get started with skyblock but um I need to do a bit more in-game first before I can before I can do any of that. But um, there probably will be an updated one coming, so keep an eye out for that. If you want to get notified when that video comes out, make sure you press that bell down below, and it will notify you every time I upload a video. Very good. Not a bad not a bad vote party opening that one. As you can see here, we've got 59 blocks of netherite, two netherite ingots, and all of this scrap ready to be turned into ingots if you guys wanted to come to my island to kill mobs to level up your sword what you can do is if you do the command that you see on screen which is slash is visit puzzler source uh, puzzle source is my in-game name i don't have any mob hoppers on the island because i want you guys to come to the island and if you are short on funds or you're working on getting your slayer blade up and you don't have enough money to build a really nice spawning area, then you can always teleport to my island. You can kill everything, sell everything that you earn and just sit there and grind for as long as you want. Eventually, I will be creating a shop and a nicer spawn area, which I mentioned in the last video. I've just got to work on getting more money consistently, which is why I'm working on fishing in the background. If we take a quick look at our fishing rod here, we have caught 1,124 fish. We are currently lure level 4, and we are 176 away from lure level 5. So I've been working pretty heavy on that in the background as well. Because fishing, if you are unaware, fishing is the best money maker on the server. In the not too distant future, uh, expect a video on how to earn money on OP blocks. Kind of like the tutorial video, but um, I'll probably rank, in my opinion, what I think is the worst, the best money maker, the top five. But uh, I am working on that in the background, but it's just going to take a lot of time. So I'm hoping to get it out in the not too distant future. In this episode, I'm not going to place any value blocks. I'm going to save them all. Uh, if I can resist, which is highly unlikely because I'm not a very patient person, I like placing things straight away, but... I'm going to try and get a minimum of two chests full of blocks for both diamonds and emeralds before placing. We will fall down on the island top. If we just have a quick look here, island top, the solo. So we are currently 16th with 2 million and 11th place has got 4 million. Obviously, the aim of this series is to finish first place. So we need to we need to pick up the fishing or something that makes a lot of money i know you guys are probably thinking to yourselves well in the finale episode of season one you mentioned that you're going to be focusing on the dragon boss uh, for money making and do a whole series only killing the dragon boss that was true but any of you that have been on the server and play on the server will be aware that the dragon boss is currently bugged at the moment you can still kill it and still sell the drops but it takes five times longer than it used to 
and the dragon keeps disappearing every time it goes off screen and it's just quite a few problems with it so it's not very many people are doing it because of this so when all those bugs are fixed i might dabble in the dragon boss but uh, for the time being i'm going to do fishing and mining i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to call the episode there if you guys are enjoying this series and you've enjoyed this video please let me know by leaving a comment uh, liking the video and subscribing to my channel and i look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you very much